Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, playing War on the Sea. We're doing the historic single battles from the perspective of the Japanese. Uh, today we're going to be uh, playing the two-day version of the Battle of Midway, probably one of the most well-known uh, naval engagements in World War II. Uh, it did change the course of the Pacific War, at least according to most historians, and the overall combat strategy of navies around the world went from big guns, lines of battle, to over the horizon, airplanes, bombs, torpedoes. Um, I'm going to be going through the whole list of these single battles as the Japanese, and then I'll probably go through as the Americans. Um, I've also got a full campaign going as the Americans, Operation Watchtower. If you don't want to miss out on any of that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to help out my channel a little bit, go down and torpedo bomb the hell out of that like button. Also, feel free to leave your comments and thoughts about the uh, game, gameplay, and anything else in general. A little bit of um, background on Midway before we jump in. It happened about a month after Coral Sea. Uh, the 4th through the 7th of 1942 June. Uh, Japanese brought to the battlefield four carriers, the Akagi, the Kaga, the Soryu, and the Hiryu, and they were all lost. Um, was a huge morale boost for the uh, United States because uh, a few of those carriers were involved in the bombing of Pearl Harbor. The American force, um, carrier force consisted of the Enterprise, the Hornet, and the uh, hastily repaired Yorktown, which was damaged in the Battle of Coral Sea. I don't think the Japanese really expected Yorktown to be there. They thought they were just up against uh, Enterprise and Hornet. But Yorktown showed up, and at least in my opinion, from what I've read, um, and my own thoughts is Yorktown changed the balance of power enough in favor of the Americans that we won the battle. So let's jump right into day one of Midway. Yorktown is the target for multiple waves of Japanese aircraft launched from the carrier Hiryu. That would be us. All right. Okay. Now I'm not liking how these are formed up, so I'm going to take a little bit of time to form them up myself. I think I'm going to have them what we have new groups of three. Oh, we got some Kates in here, too. Nice. All right. A couple groups of three, a couple groups of four. What do we have for Kates? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh... We'll do three groups, or two groups of three. Change these all to Vic. Okay, two groups of three. One group of two. What I think I'm going to do depending on where the um, carriers or whoever we're attacking pops up. I have a feeling it's going to be right somewhere in this area here. Um, I'm going to use the dive bombers as a primary striking force and then the uh, torpedo bombers to come in and clean things up. Or we'll go with groups of four here. Four. Two, three, four. All right, let's see where they are. Uh, right in front of us. Okay. Let's take a little bit of time. Um. Uh, where would you be, Yorktown? There you are, there you are. Let's get this map out of here for a second. Uh, three. Screen of destroyers in the Yorktown. And they're looking kind of light on 
the side over here on the north side. Right, so that this group of veils right here. I'm gonna have you come over this way. I'm gonna come down here. Here, Kate's. I'm gonna have you guys kind of hang back for a second. I can see how things progress. thinking is once the bombs start falling this formation is going to go to complete shit and if this is anything like the um, campaign despite the fact that this is the primary um, object to be defended if this takes damage and starts losing speed these guys are just going to book it out and then we'll have clean shot with torpedoes bombs whatever we want to do so see what we can do about getting that uh, that carrier slowed down a little bit. here, see if they can't skirt along the back. And we've got some valves coming in over here. Are you going to make your attack run? Kate's to uh, kind of try and run parallel. Let's see how the first wave of bombers goes. We can fire it. Looks like we've got a good angle here. They are breaking. See if they stay together or they uh, kind of go their own separate ways. Problem is they turn broadside so they can get more of their uh, anti-aircraft fire to bear. These guys are going to come right in over the uh, formation. Definitely maneuver and trying to get away. First wave's coming in. Second wave's coming in almost simultaneously. Oh, she was hit. One, two, three, four, five. Five hits and a dud. Alright. Next group. See how we're doing here. We've still got quite a screen going on here. Okay, I'm gonna have one of the groups of Kates move in. Yeah. 
clear. Whoops. Uh, oh, we got some uh, Avengers coming at us. A Avenger. All the air power. Take him, Muster. Take him down, take him down. Have you guys move in on your attack run? What's she doing? She's burning. Would we get so lucky? Let's so have a ship stopping collision here. Yeah, it looks like they avoided it. But for the most part, to be sticking together. Those Kates are definitely, uh, uh oh. We got problems here, guys. We got problems. Maybe not. Who are you going after? Even around? Where are you? They're shooting at them. They just flew right over us. They're going after our torpedo bombers. You guys still have your bombs. Oh, she's come back around. She's moving to the far side of the uh, formation. That's what she's doing. So our torpedo bombers are going to have to fly past everybody to get to her. Let's pause here for a second. guys and as it haven't launched their uh, uh, bombs yet all right let's watch the attack from back here from the torpedo bombers perspective Their dive. Like, they haven't won them. Well, maybe not. Did she get her torpedo off or her bomb? Doesn't look like it. We gotta get past that uh, that destroyer and all the flak from her. Come on. Hit her. Go to her. Oh, no. I don't think she's going to make it either. We'll drop a torpedo. Just one torpedo in. Oh, there's another one. Alright. Two torpedoes. Right, let's pause. See who else we have coming into position. They're getting attacked. Two torpedo bombers. Turns you in. And you're still good. out there, but you can target the uh I will just have you come in for now. She gonna dodge him. New Yorktown gonna be the most nimble aircraft carrier in the existence of surface vessels. Doesn't look like it. At least one's gonna hit. There we go. There's a torpedo. Alright, we got the dive bombers on their way in. I think we lost all our caves. Yeah, one torpedo out of all those caves. She's 
stopped. Alright, I think uh, these remaining veils here we're going to do something a little different with, pull them up, and come around here. Now they got to get past the, uh, they say I have a cap. They are turning again. Surprisingly, we're not seeing the amount of collisions that I thought we would. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon. I'll watch this from the perspective of the uh, carrier, especially if she runs into a uh, little escort there and comes to a dead stop. Yep. Come on. Whoops! How many bombs are we going to get off? Oh, they got fighters in. Did we get anyone in? Yep, here they come. Here they come. Get your bombs off before you get shot down. That's a nice hit. Look at all those hits. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus a dud. All right, well, you guys go chase the, the uh, ones out there that don't have any ammo left. Okay. Far out are you? 17,000? What a ways. Watch your attack. Time compression here. She managed to free herself. Oh, she sunk. Okay. Well, oh, hang on. Peace attack. Target. And target that destroyer. Back. And there goes the Yorktown. Hopefully the uh, redirect at the last minute worked and we get some bombs off. Yep, they're diving on the uh, destroyer over there. of the USS Yorktown, flipping beneath the waves, and rolling over. All right, so we got one hit on uh, that destroyer there, but this was our objective, and she is going to the bottom. Okay, so that's going to do it for day one. Well, here. Funk, heavy damage, heavy flooding. Let's move on to day two. Battle of Midway, Day 2. Damage from a collision the previous day, heavy cruisers Makuma and Mogami make for Wake Island at slow speed. As daylight breaks, dive bombers from the Enterprise and Hornet spot the ships. Now it's our turn. Alright. Get everyone up to full speed. Get ready to maneuver. Okay. Yeah, 
she's definitely uh definitely down by the bow. I'll have to look into that. I've never uh never read anything about um the collision of the Makuma and the Mogami. Now, what I wish they would do, I really wish they would have a, um, a strategic aspect of this, like the uh, campaign where your forces had to, you know, search for each other a little bit instead of these uh, kind of canned battles. They're okay, but um, I don't think this is really how things played out. Uh, if they were to add, like, a DLC or an expansion pack or whatever you want to call it, um, that added the Battle of Midway with a strategic aspect of it, I would definitely buy it. Late Golf is something else. I, I've heard people talking in forums that they, um, they might have plans for, uh, different campaigns, which I think would be fantastic. Oh wow, they're coming at us hard. We're breaking everyone to the starboard. Let's see if we can dodge anything. They're coming after the Kuma. Alright. Come back. I don't think he got hit by anything. Very nice. Are they coming after the Kuma again or No. Nope. Now she got hit by a one bomb. One bomb, we got another, uh, another wave coming at us. Two more bombs. Oh. Right, let's, uh, straighten everybody out before we start running into each other. We got another, uh, alright, this one's coming after the Mogami for sure. And try and turn in, we're gonna have you nab up, nab up, try and get all your guns you can in the Nice, we're in this tight little group here. Oh, ouch. That was a hell of a hit. Got hit too. I'm oh, just Mogami. She did get hit by the previous wave though, so. Got anything else coming in? I'm not seeing it. Alright. Let's get your rudder amidship. I think that's it. Alright, we're gonna have everybody. Everybody just come to a stop. Mogami. Gosh, no. I'm gonna stop. Alright, let's survey the damage, see what we can do about getting it fixed. Not as bad as I was expecting. Okay, let's get those fires under control. See if we can save these two ships. I like the uh I like the looks of these heavy cruisers, the Japanese heavy cruisers. I do like the look of them. Deck's almost a wash. Like the fires are spreading, so let's focus on fires. Speed things up a little bit. Oh, hang on. It's not back into the ship next to you. Everybody just hold your position. So unless things change it, I do believe we are going to get both the Mogami and the Makuma out. 
Mogami's already got most of her damage repair. There's no fires left. Heavy damage, heavy flooding, 26% speed. That'll probably go up once the engineering spaces get repaired. The Puma is just about back to full strength. Minus her uh, love tab there. Yeah, another battle I wouldn't mind seeing him do a campaign on is Light Eagle. It's the last battle of the uh, the last major battle where battleships were facing off against each other. That'd be that'd be fantastic. All right, it looks like we have managed to save all of our forces. But I think it'd be safe to say that. At least for the uh, Mogami here, the war is over. But we did save her. And with that, I think I'm going to call this uh, call this battle to a close. Um, like I said at the beginning, if you want to hit the like button, that'd be really helpful to my channel. I'm just getting started out. Um, I've got the two prior battles, and um, we're moving moving down the list just doing them one at a time um hit the subscribe you won't miss anything out and go over and check out my uh campaign on the uh american side operation watchtower it's going pretty good so far um i really do like the looks of these heavy cruisers anyway that's enough babbling for now thank you very much for watching uh to all my new subscribers i hope you are enjoying the content leave your thoughts down below um Anything you want to see me do, I was thinking about doing the uh, custom battles, but I haven't really messed around with those yet. If you think that'd be something you'd enjoy watching, um, go ahead and leave a comment. So, J76NY saying thank you once again for watching, and have a good night. We will see you on our next battle, which I believe is the Battle of Savo Island.